going on guys appreciate you stopping by so I'm sure you've heard about the ridiculous comments or lack of comments that has occurred when Joe Biden was asked by news to comment about the terrible fires in Maui and his response was no comment and my understanding is he's actually done that now twice the lack of leadership in America right now is just unbelievable. You add on top of that this insult that the administration's come out and has said, hey, you know, we we feel, we're, we feel compassionate. We want to help these people in Maui who have just been devastated. We're going to send them $700. 700 bucks and you know think about that for a minute 700 dollars that is what they consider to be adequate to buy votes because that's really what it's all about and how much has been sent to ukraine so right now i believe we're up over a hundred billion dollars that has been sent to Ukraine. And there's 45 million, or at least there was, 45 million people in Ukraine. How much is that per person? Somebody grab a calculator. I think that's around $2,500 per Ukrainian citizen. Does that make much sense to you? That this country is prioritizing people in other countries over its own citizens. We're overtaxed everywhere. The policies that this country, that this administration has put forth, has created this massive inflation that is a pay cut for the majority of Americans. Housing is out of is is out of reach for a lot of people. You know, you have to have roommates and stuff in order to survive. And we're going to give you the victims in Maui 700 bucks. Because we're the party of compassion and we care. We care about you. How much will be spent in prisons for those people that want to go through some kind of transgender surgery? I wonder, I wonder about that. Or in the United States military, if somebody decides, you know, I don't want this penis. Let's lop it off. Now I'm going to go a different direction. <laughs> How much money is going to be spent on that? And if you haven't heard, and you could do some research on this, some of the money that is being sent to Ukraine, at least early on, was going to fund the government, which included funding retirement programs for people in other countries in Ukraine. Think about that for a minute. Your tax dollars is or was going to Ukraine to fund retirement programs. People, I, I usually don't like saying things like this, like if you haven't woken up, but it's a good term. I have. I admit. I admit. I was asleep at one time. I think a lot of us were. But if you haven't woken up yet, it's time. We're all being lied to every day. It's all over the news, coming from the government, coming from our politicians, coming from corporate America, mainstream media. It's everywhere. Our school systems. It's pathetic. Now, here's a question. As we continue to stumble through time into the future we're sitting here right now in mid-august 2023 
what's it going to be like by, let's say, election time of 2024? That's a scary thought. Because like a snowball rolling down a hill and it's getting bigger and bigger and faster and faster. Seems like the stuff that is happening in this country and in this world is doing the same thing. It's happening more and more and faster and more radical, uh, more volatility. And I can't imagine another almost year and a half from now. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think it's going to be like? Comment below. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. It's the end of my video. If you got anything out of this, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't. And uh, you guys stay safe. We'll see you next time. Known for controversial and unique books, Paladin Press published what many called a professional action library. Paladin was known as a resource for hard-to-find information often considered too dangerous to publish.